born but Babylon raised. My father never played no games, so I changed my ways. Making sure I was upright repeatedly. Then all of a sudden my life changed immediately. Never envisioned living a life full of lust and sinning. And so I made a decision that started from the beginning. Uh, I keep my mind on a mission, I'm a prophet. So my job is to warn all the wicked, they can't stop it. Yeah, keep commandments and you'll live, never thirst again. That living water he will give, it takes discipline. So we don't die no more, don't cry no more. Look up at the sky no more, don't sign no more. Christ is coming to deliver me, he gon' set us free. I'm tired of slaving in this business. Counted the cost long time ago. I'm just waiting for the Lord to say it's time to go. Let's work. Oh, the only hope is in these laws, so we don't fall. We be here keeping commandments, man. Oh, the devil's trying to break my wall, but so we don't fall. We be here keeping commandments, man. Oh, scripture flexing with my Bible on me. Where's yours? I'm just checking, homie. Take a glance, you don't stand a chance while we got our Bibles in hand. Keep it coming. Let's come out here to warn you, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We not speak his to warn the wicked, or not speak his words to you. We from his wicked way. We to save his life. We know to save wicked men shall die in this iniquity. So you gon' die in your sin if we don't warn you. But let's see what's gonna happen to us. We let his blood. Again. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord and put not off from 
day to day. So God said, don't put off from day to day. And that's exactly what you're doing, my brother. You putting off from day to day. You should be keeping bridges on your shirt right now. That's easy. What's your name again, bro? Rob. Well, how long, well, how long have you been coming out here, bro? I didn't miss a couple weeks. You missed a couple weeks, but how long? What's the first time we've seen your face? Let me just get 30 feet back. Five months ago, I think. Nah, whole year. Nah, it was like a year ago, bro. Was it a year ago? Like a year ago. I want to. Do you realize that even, even in your nonchalant, right, that you're fulfilling Bible prophecy? You believe the Bible? All right, watch this. I'm going to show you how either you're going to fill the Bible in righteousness or in wickedness. Ready? Right. Read it. Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 30. Come on. Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people. The children of who? Of thy people. See, a lot of times you may hear brothers speak about, about other nations and things like that. God wants, wants us to address things about ourselves, about right. our people. Right. You know? Still are talking against thee. They say they still talk against This is Ezekiel's time, but this comes even up to today. Read that. By the walls and in the doors Come on. of the houses and speak one to another. And they do what? Speak one to another. You ever told anybody who came out and heard these brothers in front of and learned things yeah. about who you are? You heard, you've done that before, right? So you speak one to another, just like the Bible says. Read on. Every one to his brother. Every one to his brother. Man, I learned I was this and like, you know, the brothers is out there teaching. I see them every Friday. They gave me all kinds of scriptures I ain't never heard before, right? <laughs> I tell my grandma about this. Exactly. Read on. Say, come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that coming forth. Hey, matter of fact, we should go down there next Friday. I know where they be at, right? Right. right? Come on. From the Lord. And they came. Unto thee as the people. And, you come, and, you, and you've been coming for almost a year as our people. What tribe are you from? Hezekiah. See, you know this. You come and stand before us as our people, which you are. Come on. And I sit before thee as my people. And you sit before us like you know the one true God. You love the most high God. That you want to learn about your father, right? Right. We don't. And they hear thy word. And you hear these words. You've been doing this for a while now. Come on. But will not do them. What's the problem? But will not do them. You heard the words for a while, but you refuse to do them. So either you're doing what God says do, or you're doing what this says. Well, you hear the words, but you refuse to do. It's not that you can't. It's not that there's not an, a, a brother to teach you. You just refuse to do it. That's rebellious. Read on. For with their mouth, they show much love. With, with your mouth, you show much love. I know who I am. I know my tribe. I know I know about the commandments. I know all these things. Read on. But their heart goes after their covetousness. But their heart goes after what? After their covetousness. God says your heart goes after covetousness. What is covetousness? The word, the word to covet means to desire. So you won't do what God says, dude. You doing what you want to do. You going after your own covetousness. Read on. And lo, thou art to him as a very lovely song. You out here just to listen. It's, I might as well be rapping a song. Because these words that we're reading out of God's book don't mean nothing. You can stand here for weeks at a time, but just standing there don't mean nothing. And I might as well be rapping. Why? You know? A voice that has a pleasant voice. You said, I'm I'm to you at this point as someone who can just sing good. Why? Come on. And can play well on an instrument. Come on. But they hear thy word. Our people, they listen to God's words, but what? But they do them not. But you do them not. You listen. I'm going to give you an example. We may rap, we hear rap songs. Oh, I see the nigga in his face, blah, blah, blah. You may sing those lyrics, but are you actually going to do it? No. no. Same thing with this Bible. You read these words, you know what surprised you, you know who you are. But you ain't going to do it. You full of it, bro. I'm going to tell you straight because I'm your brother. You BS. I'm only going to waste so much time in you and then teach other people because they may want to. You've been listening longer than three of these brothers that standing up. You slap. You rebellious. It's not that you don't know no better, you're choosing other, to do otherwise. So then when life goes awry, you're like, why, God, why'd you do this to me? Because you heard the words and you refused. You know? And when this coming to pass. And when this cometh to pass. No, it will come. No, it will come. Come on. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. Why? Because the things that were written that we read to you months ago, you're still in the midst of. So now you know you're dealing with the prophets of the Lord because we told, we read, what was that scripture you just read, Psalms 1? Uh, Psalms 119 and 60.
talking about you being slack, you being uh, tarrying the turn to the Lord. How many months ago did we read that to you? Yeah. One month ago. Has anything changed? No. You see the problem? I am the problem. Give me uh, Ezekiel 3, 317. 317. Third chapter 17. Because look, I don't do this for fun. I do this because I love my people. We that's do this because right. we love our people. That's, that's right. right. We're not, we're not, we're not going to waste time for brothers that's, you're not about this work. If you just want to listen, that's fine. But realize that you stand before God and men acknowledging the fact that all you want to do is listen and you don't actually want change in your life. You don't actually want to serve your God and love all this work. Give me Psalms. That's Psalms. Give me first John 2 and verse 2. First John 2. I'm going to give it back to the book. First John 2 and verse 2. Y'all want one? Because we read a whole bunch of scriptures about prophecy, about revelation, about what's required of us as a people, haven't we? You stood here many times. I want you to listen to this. First John, chapter 2, verse 3. Come on. And hereby we do know that we know him. God says, hereby we do know that we know God, that we know our Lord. How? If we keep his commandments. If, if we meet the stipulation of keeping his commandments. That's how we... No can say they have a personal relationship with Jesus unless they keep his commandments. That's right. We all. He that says that know him. Anyone that says that they love God, anybody that says they have a personal relationship with Christ, anybody that says that they're trying to love God, we all. And keep it not. But you refuse to keep God's commandments. His commandments. Come on. Is a liar. Is what? Is a liar. Is what? Is a liar. Anything that you, everything that you spoke for the past. Twelve months have been lies, bro. You speak to your grandmother about all of this stuff, but you yourself are not an example. That's why she looked at you and her, you are you in, you in the midst of hypocrisy. You say one thing, but you're doing another. I'm going to show you how it goes. You, you, we talked to you about smoking months ago. I'm glad you didn't bring the chain out or, or the chain in your pocket. You have to cross in your pocket? You sure? But we spoke about smoking months ago. Yet you, like you come to listen to the Bible and destroy your temple at the same time. That's hypocrisy. You know what I'm saying? Go back to Ezekiel 317. Read that. Ezekiel 317. Is that what I want? Yes, sir. Read that. Son of man. I had made them walk me after the house of Israel. God, God raised up certain men in these last days to be watching. Because nobody cares about your people. Nobody cares about our people as a whole, the 12 tribes of Israel. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the most neglected people on the planet. That's why he raised up his sons to come out here and speak to us. Read on. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth. Therefore, hear the words that we're trying to convey to you about the sin. What's up, primo? What the fuck's going on? When I tell you, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The what? And give them money for me. I'm not out here to fight you. I'm not out here to beat you up. No, I'm, not not gonna, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna talk bad to you. You guys so appreciate it, bro. Black and brown oh, together? You are 100% correct. I'm not here to do none of that. My only job is to give you warning right. that the way you live it is bad. That the lies that you speak before your father are bad. Everything that you've been saying since you heard this word a lie until you actually put forth effort into change. So you can nod, you can agree, you can commend, you can tell other people. But you yourself are walking the hypocrisy. And you have to initiate change in your life if you want to mean any of those things that you think or that you say. You understand? All right, bro. Are you walking the Come on, come on. So, brother, you say you feel the Lord. No. I think you feel the most I got, like you feel Christ. We, uh, so I, like, uh, two kids here. In order to fear the most high God, it's Christ. Guess what? You got to be doing something. There's something that you got to be doing. Read that. The book of Salah, chapter 2, verse 15. They that fear the Lord. They that fear the Lord. They say they fear God in, in Christ. Read. Will not disobey his word. The Bible says that you will not disobey his word. Read. And they that love him. And they that love him. Would you say you love the most high Christ, right? Read. We'll keep his way. We'll keep his way. So what is God's word that you're supposed to be keeping? We'll keep his commandments and his, everything. And you're supposed to be keeping his commandments. So brother, what's the problem? You don't really feel. Do you really think you, do you really think you feel? According to the scripture that we just read, do you feel the most high? So then why are you playing, man? Because 
Why come and listen if you're not going to do what the Bible says? Uh, Try to learn. All right, well, I'm gonna teach you. Give me numbers. Give me numbers. Right, yeah. So we gonna bring this law out for you once again, because I know the officers brought this law out to you, but we gonna read it to you again. Give me numbers 15 and 38. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, and verse 38. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. The children of Israel do bless Hispanics and Native Americans. Read. That they make them bridges in the borders of their garbage. So God says, command them. Not, not ask them if they want to do it, or maybe. He said, command or bid them that they make what? Speak of their children with them and bid them oh, yeah. that they make them bridges in the borders of their garbage. So we're supposed to have bridges in the borders of our garbage. Not like those fake Jews that have castles, but actual bridges that's around the border of our garden. That's right. Throughout the generation. Throughout our generation. So what does that mean, brother? When it says throughout your generation, what does My that children mean? Down to children. That means forever. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the border, a ribbon of blue. So once you have the fringe on your shirt, you're supposed to put upon a ribbon of blue. Not like the fake Jews with those damn tassels. They don't have a ribbon of blue. So why don't you have that? That's a basic. Give me uh the three just give me one to five. Because I'm pretty sure they bought this law out too. Read. Leviticus, chapter 21, and verse 5. Read that. 21 and 5. They should not make blue. Listen up, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. This Bible is for you. That's a Hebrew book. Read. They should not make gardens upon their head. So you're not supposed to make baldness on your head. So I see that your head not bald. But read. Neither shall they shake off the corner of the beard. So God wants you to look like a man. Not a woman or a feminine man, but an actual man. Because what do a lion have? What do a male lion have? A man. That's how you can tell if it's a man, a male lion, or a female, right? Between the two. So God commands you to have a beard on your face. Why don't you have that, brother? I'm pretty sure they read this law to you. Matter of fact, I'm 100% sure they read this to you. So why don't you have it? Uh, I just can't. I, I just can't grow it. So you can't grow no beard at all? So that's all you can grow? <laughs> all right, I'm going to take your word for that. I'm going to take your word for that. Give me a... Uh, Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.